Okay, now, let's actually go for a real star for once. Back to this Hungry Luma is where I'm going for. I believe, yeah, this one's the Sling Pod Galaxy. Yes. I don't like this one. It's kind of so easy to die for me here. Ah, uh, very sticky situation. Oh, you can just tell it's gonna be fun. Although, the bright side is, as numerous times as you might die here, you can collect a lot of star bits. It's very hard to kind of aim. Like, I'm trying to just see a line myself. I hope I'm aligned right. Probably. Okay. I really thought I was gone. Dead. So I don't want that. Oh, I'm surprised I got that. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> I'm not lined up the way I want to be. I hope that's good enough. Alright. So far, so good. This is part we can collect all our star bits, all these little silver ones. I don't know why they're all silver. Yeah. Go figure. This way, you can die numerous times and still collect, you know, a lot of lives. There we go. I believe, yeah, this is the part where I start dying a lot. I just know it, because I always have problems with this one. Like that. I swear, I touched the thing. I hate that. You have to be exactly perfect. Stupid cell phone. Ugh. Man, oh man, oh man. This is the part that always gives me trouble. I don't know why. It's hard to... ...align yourself up. I don't know why that is. Oh, for... <laughs> oh, God, I thought I was dead. Okay. Carefully. Uh, crap, that didn't look right. I'm gonna chance it. Okay. Oh, well, that looks straight enough. Oh, yes! I only died once. I cannot believe that. I seriously cannot believe that. I only died once. I usually die a lot more than that. Oh, yeah, 
Rosalina's library. I don't know where I'll just do that whole part and one thing at the end. Maybe. Maybe I'll wait till the end and read it. Okay, what's open? The kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah, the library's in there. Oh, crap. I would fall off. Not that I would die, you fall off. It was magically like that. Okay, now actually get up there, thank you. We have discovered an enemy base in the region already. You say the same thing every time. And I'll give you the same answer every time. Yes, they're mis misusing the power of the Grand Star. What's this one? Beach Ball Galaxy. This one... Bubble Breeze Galaxy. Now let's do Beach Ball. This has something to do with... Oh, sunken Treasure. Oh, okay, the collect the little star chips thing. And penguins, and they're not in snowy areas, which is kind of odd. I, mean, I guess they're penguins that hang around warm weather. I don't know. Penguins are never fascinating animals for me. Even though the movie, it was like one year, I swear, it was like every movie that came out, it was like, had penguins in it. I mean, that's just my imagination. There's, what was that movie? There's a happy beat, surfs up. I just know there's more. I don't know, everybody loves penguins for some reason. Uh, the students are distracted by the sparklies. What? I hope they're not vampires. My oh, god. That'd be awful. Oh, I had a thought and it just left me. Oh, I was thinking about the episode of Futurama with the, <laughs> the penguins and Bender eventually taught them how to kill. That was... that was amazing. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen a lot of that new season of Futurama, which I'm glad they finally brought it back. I don't even know why it got cancelled in the first place. And that show was great, and they used to show it on Adult Swim, but then, for some reason, they took it off. I don't know why. They've been showing Family Guy since... I don't know, who knows when, since the beginning. Non-stop. But then they take off Futurama. And the thing about the new season I found odd was like, there's only about two things I found really odd with that season. One was the whole, you know, little romance between Amy and Bender. What the hell was that about? I mean, it, it doesn't make sense in my head, a robot and a human. I mean, I know it's Futurama, but... <laughs> and then that one episode where... Uh, I think Leela and Zap were stranded on some kind of planet. Or did they think they were the only people left? I don't know what it was. But eventually, there was this huge thing that was about to destroy Earth. And so, to summarize it, the ending, this huge thing, I don't know whether it was a planet destroyer, it was like, okay, I'll spell your planet, but as long as I see these two do it, which was Leela and Zap, which... I was like, why? <laughs> that just made no sense to me. And of course, you know, at this point, Fry and Leela are together. And the thing about it, Leela's just kind of like, she's like, oh, okay. She's not even hesitant. She just basically agrees to it. I'm like, oh, come on. Everybody's like cheating on everybody in that season. Because, you know, at the time, Amy was married to Kip. I forgot why they... 
don't know, they broke up or something. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look at the episode again. No, no, I thought it was a good season still. Oh, uh, what is this music? Oh, the old underwater theme. What else? What else? What else? I guess we'd be talking about the level. This is time. I don't think so. Oh, yes, it is. I just could I can barely hear it. I've got the sound down because I don't want that echo. Now that I think about it, if Bowser has the power of the power stars, why is he scattering them out across the galaxies? Wouldn't he keep them all in one spot? I don't know. I mean, the grand stars, I can understand putting them someplace where I'll guard it, but still. I figure he had them all in together, he could make this one huge, giant, ultimate machine or something. Oh, great, another Hungry Luma. Yeah, we'll deal with him later. Or she. I don't even know if Starpits have genders. Passing the swim test. Oh, this one's pretty easy. I think all you gotta do is get the golden shell, I think. Hmm, here to take the swimming school's final swim test? Yes. In this test, you must collect shells in the ocean. If you bring me the gold shell, it's an automatic A for you. Nice. I'm not even a student. Or I'm not even a penguin. Let's see, where are they? They're swimming around here somewhere. Are they? No, that's just one penguin. There they are. Sucks to be you, man. Okay, camera. It's awkward. Amazing! I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. Well then, here's a big gold medal for you. You know, it's not that difficult. Technically, wouldn't the penguin that already had the shell be the winner? I mean, why was he swimming around with it? Nice job on the test, but are you one of my students? Oh crap, he's on to us. Run away! <laughs> now that I think about it, it should be obvious I'm not one of your students. I'm not a penguin. That's a dead giveaway, man. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'll probably cut this part short.